Good morning, everybody. I uh, hope you're doing really well. Hope you really had a really nice Christmas um, and uh, you got lots of presents and you enjoyed the uh, time with your family and you had some really good food. And uh, so I'm at home today because I'm at home because I know you're at home. I'm recording this on Monday and uh, all the schools are getting ready to have you back in. And uh, so I hope when you see this, that, um, that you'll really enjoy what we're doing today. So what we're gonna to do today is we're gonna start thinking about brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters. And we're gonna use a story from the Bible that's quite an uh, important story, it's a story that's really well known. It's a story about a, uh, someone called Joseph. Now Joseph came from a family, a big family. As a matter of fact, Joseph had brothers and a sister. He had 11 brothers. Can you imagine what it'd be like to have 11 brothers? Do you have brothers and sisters? How many brothers and sisters do you have? Well, in my family, I have, uh, there's four children and I have one older sister, older than me, and then there's me, and then there's two younger brothers. So there's four of us together. In our family, uh, I have a daughter who's the oldest and I've got two sons uh, who are younger than her. So I do want to show you something before I want to think about something uh, for our assembly time today. Now my mom made something for me. Can I show you? Can I show you? But first of all here I want to show you our dog. I'm going to turn the camera around and I'm going to show you there's this right there. Diesel. Diesel. <gasps> There's Diesel right there. Can you see Diesel? Can Diesel, can you wave? He's, he's, he's black. Diesel, can you wave? Nope. He's over there looking out the window. That was Diesel. And uh, now, I'm hoping he won't bark when he sees that the dog's out the window. He rah, 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 rah. Hopefully it won't happen. But I want to show you something that my mom made for me a long time ago. It's, I have two things I want to show you. One is this right here. Can you see this? It's huge. It's kind of like a big quilt, like a big blanket. Now, I'm not sure you can see it. Can you see all the different bits? Now, it's all different shades of blue. And can you guess what they were? Can you guess what they were? Now, mom didn't go out and buy it at a shop. She made this, and what she did is that when I was oh, probably a teenager, she had kept some of my old jean trousers. And what she did is that she cut them up into little squares, and then she sewed all the squares together and made a quilt. And it is a huge quilt. I mean, I could open it up, but you, you won't be able to see it all. It's absolutely huge. And so mom did all that time and all that work to make a really special quilt for me and something to remember when I was a child out of all the jean trousers um, that I had. Not all of them, but, but, but some of them. So that was pretty amazing. I want to show you something else too. Okay, hold on. Something else mom made for me because she liked making quilts. She liked making blankets. And I want to show you this one. This one's really cool, kind of. I want to show you. So this one is all different colors, but can you see what kind of things it is? There's like a spanner. Oh, where is it? There's like a spanner there and like a little screwdriver or something there. And so she took all different kinds of all different kinds of material and she cut them into shapes. And then she uh, and there's a saw. Can you see a saw? So right there. If I open it up, you can see it a little bit better. Let me get the right way. All those things that mom did, um, that she made that awesome, awesome, awesome blanket for me. And I really felt special. I was so thankful for mom that she did it. But here's the thing. Mom made one for me. And she made one for my sister. And she made one for my brother. And she made one for my other brother. And you may say, Pastor Simpson, why is that important? What's the point? Well, in our story that we're going to start talking about Joseph and his brothers, it's really important that 
uh, a long time ago when Joseph was alive with his brothers. Joseph was one of the youngest in his family. As a matter of fact, he was the second youngest boy. And his father decided to make him a beautiful coat of many different colors. Now, at that time, you couldn't go to the shop and buy coats and, and all that sort of thing. Everything was homemade. But Joseph's father made him a very special coat, and the Bible actually calls it a coat of many colors. So it wasn't just a normal coat of maybe mm, from sheep's, uh, sheep's wool that was just one color, but they took the time to dye the the, the, uh, the, the wool different colors, you take it and dip it into uh, different colors to make it uh, a certain particular color and then you may have another lot of, of wool that you dip it in to make it all a different kind of color and then you weave that all together to make this incredible coat. And the important thing to remember at the beginning of this story is that Joseph's dad, unfortunately, didn't make one for all the brothers. He made one just for Joseph. Now that was a big, big thing. And I want to ask you if, um, if that would have been you and you had been one of the other brothers, how would you have felt like on the inside? Would you have been happy that Joseph got such a beautiful coat? Maybe, maybe. But you know what? Those brothers got really, really jealous and they got really uh, angry. Have you ever been jealous before? And I, you know, this story is amazing in the Bible, and I love it how in the Bible there's, it's just not stories about, you know, God and Jesus, but it's about other people. And God tells us about other people and all their problems and how they get through their problems and all the fights within families. So the Bible's so awesome and, and it's so real to tell, to, to tell us all these things. But Joseph's brothers were so jealous, so angry because he had this coat. And I want to leave you with this question. Do you ever get angry or jealous? about your brothers and sisters. Maybe something that they got. Maybe something they got for Christmas. Maybe something they got for their birthday that you really wanted, that that toy or that truck or that game. You thought, oh, I've been wanting that for so long and now they've got it. And, mm. Well, maybe, how about this? Maybe you could ask them if you could play with it and share. They may say, no. I know, that could happen, that could happen. But they might say yes. But here's the thing, as we get started thinking about Joseph and his brothers, be careful, don't get jealous, because that's exactly what happened to Joseph. And lots of things happened to Joseph. We're gonna see all different sorts of things that are gonna happen to Joseph, but it all starts out with that coat of many colors, and how that his brothers got jealous. And when we get jealous and we get angry, it's not a good place to start, okay? So I want you to be thinking about that and ask yourself, do you get angry? Do you get jealous? And is it the best thing for me and my family? Okay, so we're going to pray and ask God to help us have a really good start to the year 2021, a brand new year. I know it's really different in school. It's really hard with all the virus thing and you have to be so careful, but please do listen to your teachers, listen to the helpers, listen to your head teacher and all the dinner ladies and everything. They're trying to keep everyone safe and we wanna try and get through this so that everyone can get back to not having to wear masks and be able to go to the cinema and be able to go to the football matches and go, play, go out to eat and all those things, but we just have to be patient and it'll be okay. So we're gonna pray now, okay? Dear God, thank you for our assembly time today and thank you that I can invite all the children into my home and to be able to see Diesel and to share a little bit about the beginning of the story about Joseph. And I pray that you'd help us to work really hard uh, this week as we get started back at school. And God, we're just going to thank you for all these things. Help us to be really careful about being jealous. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We'll see you later.